Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day today and thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to check out one of my favorite guitars from Earth and one of their coolest models. This is the Earth ETT, which I think just stands for Thin Line Tele. Let's go ahead and check it out. So what exactly is this guitar that I'm holding in my hands? I want to tell you all about it. So first off, the guitar sells for $3.99. And for $3.99, you are getting a lot for your money. Starting with a book match roasted mahogany body. It's hard to see with this paint job, but sure, I'll take their word for it. We've got a fixed bridge with stainless steel saddles. We've got a, so you can see there's an affle here. So the guitar is semi-hollow, meaning that it's hollow on one side and solid on the other. And we got a volume and tone, three-way switch a black three-ply pickguard, and then one of the stars of the show is going to be this neck. As you can see, there is a little bit of glare, and that is because the neck is highly polished and slightly sealed. I'm talking about the fretboard, actually. And we have 22 medium jumbo stainless steel frets that are very, very nicely rounded, as well as an absolutely beautiful roasted maple neck. And as you can see, this is polished very nicely. It is not finished, uh, but it is uh, th there is glare there because... It is highly oiled and polished, so it feels really smooth. It's still a satin neck. Um, it's just so much better than some of those other rough necks that you might get from like a, a cheap import guitar. This is not the case. This feels as good as anything you'll see out there. We've got a bone nut. We got your you know standard Earth headstock with the Earth logo, and then we have twenty one to one ratio um, standard tuners there. Uh, I don't know where they get their tuners from, but they're very nice lightweight guitar somewhere in the seven pound range i will weigh it properly and put the weight on the screen and so it's one of the more interesting guitars from earth because it is still at a very reasonable price point so you can get this for 3.99 i think you're getting a lot with it and we'll talk about you know exactly what i like about it and what i don't some other features that i should mention this does have a compound neck as well as a compound radius on the fretboard so all that means it's more rounded up here and flatter here. So it being more rounded here makes it easier to do your basic chord shapes. And it being flatter here makes it easier to get a better grasp for when you're doing leads. And then the radius, same thing. It starts at, uh, oh man, I want to say this one is uh, 7.25 to 9.50 uh, or either 9.5 to 12. I'll put whatever it is on the screen. I believe this is 9.5 to 12, but I... Could be wrong. Anyways, um, it serves the same purpose as what I just said with the neck shape. So what I'd like to do now, give you some playing examples. You already heard kind of a lead tone there, but uh, we'll give you some playing examples and then I'll go over my final thoughts and just kind of what this compares to and what you get out of it. So I've had this guitar for quite a while. I actually did make a video on YouTube for it. And for some reason it got taken down. 
Um, I think it was some uh, copyright free music that I used. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the quotations because I don't know if that was the reason it got taken down or whatnot. But it never saw the light of day. So I, I guess I just redid it. <laughs> Figured it would be easier to do that. Um, but yeah, this guitar is one of my favorite Erd guitars. As you guys know from watching my channel, you know, initially when I first encountered them a couple of years, I kind of questioned their QC and then the QC has dramatically gone up and I understood why everyone was so hype about them. And I became one of those hype beasts. I mean, I, <laughs> I've owned like eight or nine or 10 of them, uh, over the last couple of years. So yeah, really like their stuff. And, uh, this is one of my personal favorite ones. And the reason why that is, is because it serves a lot of purposes and it just works really well. So the first one is, it's one of the few semi-hollow guitars. To my knowledge, they only have this and the 335 style semi-hollow guitar. Um, so that's pretty unique. Uh, this is one of the very few thin line tally guitars that you can get on, their, uh, on a budget. So for less than $500, I can think of some Squire Classic Vibes. And uh, I believe Harley Benton has something out there. Maybe that's it. I'm drawing some blanks here. I'm sure there's other options, but... Uh, in my opinion, this is far and above your best one. Um, I do like the classic vibes very much. I've owned several Squire classic vibes. And one of the things I like most about those guitars is the pickups. So that's one of the positive things. Um, and then they usually have bone nuts and, as well. But uh, the fretwork, the fit and finish on this guitar is much, much better. I personally find this neck much more comfortable. I think it makes a lot more sense. And uh, as I said, the fret work, the frets are stainless steel, which is a feature that the Squire doesn't have. Um, they are way more polished, um, more rounded, more level, just, just overall better on this guitar. Also, the tuners, in my experience with some of the classic vibes, I mean, they're, they're kind of okay. This is better. I know many people like locking tuners, and maybe that's something I'd love to see here. Um, but if it's going to drive the price up, I would rather they keep the ones that they have here because they do work very, very well. They are pretty high ratio. Um, I also like how they treat this neck, right? So another thing you're getting, well, Squire is starting to do that more and more now with some of their guitars with getting roasted necks on them. But uh, you do get this really nice, like, you know, almost glossy, um, but just very well hydrated, polished and buff neck that just feels like an absolute joy to play. It, it almost feels like worn in, uh, but in, in, in a proper and right way, if that makes sense. It's just very, very comfortable. It's like putting that nice old t-shirt that you just love to put on. This would probably be one of them for me. But uh, yeah, so those are some of the things I like over the Squire Classic Vibe. Um, the other thing is I really like this finish. I don't think I've seen a Classic Vibe thin line tally with this finish. I could be wrong. I, I remember the natural color ones that they have, uh, kind of like a uh, maple colored or um, mahogany colored. I can't remember right now. I'm just drawing blanks left and right. But um, yeah, and then the the knobs feel nicer as well. And this, I really do like how these pickups sound. Now, they're not high output by any means, so this is not something you should play metal with. However, they do still have an interesting combination of, of a percussive tone. So it sounds great when you're doing uh, rhythm, chords, that kind of thing. But it also does still have plenty of sustain for your leads. Um, so it's really nice. It's just not something that's so aggressive that it hits really hard. Uh, but it sounds great. I think, in my opinion, it, it you know, lots of warmth, lots of, I'm pulling into all the cliches here. But uh, it's just a very pleasant tone. I'll, I'll just finish it with that. And, uh, yeah, uh, the work on the nut is great. The fit and finish, again, I want to go back to this point. When you look at the guitar with a fine tooth comb, I'll, I'll put some close-ups uh, of that, but uh, everything's just finished so nicely, especially the fit around the neck pocket. It's a very tight fit, but not overly tight, just the way that it should be. Um, the fret work, the finish work. I mean, the one few, you know, the one thing I can kind of call out is when you look at the F hole, there may be some spots that are not as perfect as you'd like it to be. But even then, you know, like the route work, all that stuff just looks really clean on this guitar. It's so much more above its price point. So that's why I really like this guitar. Um, also, I like the green mint color. They also do have a white one that I think looks really nice, as well as a sunburst one that also looks really nice. So they really hit it out of the park with their color options, because I think there's three re really cool color options that make sense for this guitar. And um, I guess if I was going to do one more, maybe black or something. But yeah, the, the three that they pick, really solid choices. And the neck is just one of the more comfortable necks that I've played on any guitar, like, ever. And I have, you know, much more expensive stuff than this. So 
uh, I do want to shout out to Urk because they did send this guitar quite some time ago. Like I told you guys, I did make a video originally. It got taken down, so I had to re-upload a video. But um, yeah, overall, this is a fantastic guitar. Yeah, so at the end of the day, this guitar is just, in my opinion, way more than you could ask for for this price point. It delivers on every font. You know, the knack feels great. Pickups sound good. Guitar holes tune very, very well. It looks nice. It's lightweight. It's well balanced. There's nothing wrong here. This is one of my favorite guitars, not just from Earn, but in general. And as you know, I have way more expensive guitars than this, but this is still one of the ones I like to just have on my rack so I can grab and, you know, play or try to go with a different musical vibe when I need inspiration. So really cool piece from uh, Earth. Um, they have multiple guitars starting at 269 for the basic Strat. Um, all the way to like the seven eight hundred dollar range. I think this is one of their best value guitars. It's also one of their more unique ones. Uh, right now, I think they they have all color options available, but uh, I'll put links in the description for it so you guys can go check it out. Um, I think this guitar also makes a lot of sense for beginners. So if you're looking for a really good guitar for a beginner, this would make sense because in its nature, it's very simplistic. You know, you've got a fixed bridge, you've got just one volume tone, just a three way switch, no push pull or anything like that no trim bar no locking tuners you know nothing that just adds more <laughs> for the student to learn and it's also lightweight enough for younger students to handle but it's still a full-size guitar and i like the fact that it has kind of like the compound neck and with medium jumbo frets i think all of that all of that makes sense for beginners because then they get to kind of play with something in the middle and then figure out where they want to go from there but this is a guitar that they can have forever and even for professionals or anyone, I mean, I know many professionals that use these same guitars uh, in live performances in front of thousands. So, yeah, uh, it's a fantastic guitar. It's about as good as you can buy in this price range. I still think to this day that Ert is probably the brand that has the best fit and finish of any other brand under $500. Um, because when you look at it from with a fine tooth comb and you look at a neck pocket, the route, uh, all the little details, corners, edges, all that. Uh, I think that they, you know, put these really well. So these guitars are not just about the rounded stainless steel frets. There's more to them than that. And um, this is a, a great example of that. So for $3.99, really, really cool guitar. I suggest you check it out if you're looking for something like this. And if you like this kind of content, then please leave me a like, comment, subscribe. Do all that YouTube jazz for me because it helps the guy out. <laughs> and I will uh, appreciate that you guys do that. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care and have a great rest of your day. Thanks to everyone that made it to the end of the video. I actually wanted to give you an update as to why I took a pretty long hiatus on my channel. I had to take a break from uploading videos and editing videos for about six months, give or take, because I had some health scares, nothing that was immediately life-threatening, but uh, yeah, just some things that kind of put things into perspective for me. I'm still relatively young and uh, I've been working on improving my overall health for the last few months. Some hiccups on the way, but I'm making steady progress, so that much is good. Um, anyways, the good news is that um, I do have plenty of content on my phone that I'm going to edit and upload as the weeks go by. It's just stuff that I recorded over the last year, year and a half that I think is still valuable and will still make sense for some people. Why might still help some people make informed and educated decisions. Um, the bad news is that because I had some health issues or scares or whatnot, uh, medical bills racked up and I live in the U S so you can imagine how expensive that can be. And it's forced me to sell like 70% of my equipment. <laughs> but, uh, the good news is, um, you know, this is all equipment that I've amassed over the last 20 years from selling low and buying high. So I had a lot of guitars, a lot of pedals, amps, etc. So I'll still keep a decent amount of equipment, uh, enough to get me by. And so that's fine. And I still have enough to make uh, more uh, videos and newer content and i'll continue to work with any companies that want to work with me as well as you know anytime i find something that makes sense um and i think will help people i'll for sure make content about that so um unlike other youtubers that take a long hiatus until and explain why i wanted to give you a quick explanation as to what happened um i appreciate everyone that's reached out or were wondering what was going on uh that really means a lot you have no idea but uh, yeah, thank you, everyone. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you all in the next video. I do have a new one that I'm going to be uploading next weekend, something that I'm working on today. Other than that, uh, I'll continue to basically upload and edit some of the videos that I already have on my phone. So thank you all. I hope you all take care and have a great day.